So if you are looking for some fun things to do this weekend with your kids, there are a lot of things to choose from. And joining us this morning to share with us those activities is Erica Bigelow of Seattle's Child Magazine. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. All right. First things first, we can't ignore the green. We heard about getting started with some early St. Patrick's Day celebrations. That's right. It's, it's my favorite holiday coming up here. And this weekend you can start celebrating because there is a parade. So we've got the St. Patrick's Day Parade back. It starts at fourth, on 4th Avenue from Jefferson. Um, there's going to be over 2,000 parade participants. They're going to include pipe bands and high school marching bands and drill teams and Irish dancing groups and all sorts of other Irish organizations. Parade starts at 1220. It moves down 4th Avenue to the Westlake Park Reviewing Stand. So you can come and cheer for your favorite groups. But this is a really a two-part activity because then you want to head to the Seattle Center for the Irish Festival. And that's happening in partnership with the Irish Heritage Club. It's today and tomorrow, and it is a very lively experience. You've got traditional step dancing performances, traditional Irish music, uh, lectures, there's genealogy workshops, so you can all find out where your Irish heritage lies. There's Irish films, exhibits, foods, and more, and it's just a great weekend all around. And then what about if we want to celebrate St. Patrick's Day by getting our run on? That's right. So if you don't march in the parade and you need a little exercise, this awesome event is back uh, in person this year. It's the St. Pat's Day Dash. It is tomorrow. The 5K race begins at 845 at the Space Needle and it finishes at the International Fountain at the Seattle Center. There's also a 1K Kids Leprechaun Lap and that starts at 815. And afterwards, you want to stick around for the Guinness Post Dash Bash. There's an award ceremony. There is a costume contest. And you know, this race always brings out some rude really good outfit. So you want to dig into your closet and join the fun and dress up. And then switching gears now to learning. We heard about a cool way that we can learn about nature's recyclers. That's right. So if you've ever wondered who cleans up the forest floor, there are, there are all sorts of things. There's fungus and bacteria and invertebrates, and they are nature's busy recyclers. Uh, they work nonstop, nonstop to break down decaying matter and turn it into the rich nutrient filled soil that is necessary for our healthy forests. So you can come and join a park ranger today at the Mercer Slough Environmental Education Center. This is at two o'clock and they're gonna do a story. There's hands-on activities and a chance to meet the park's uh, wiggly recyclers. So it's a free event, great for kids ages five to 10 and just pre-register beforehand so they know who's coming. Yeah, it sounds like a great learning opportunity. Yeah. And then last but not least, we love some music around here. So what about going on an adventure with some fun musical friends? This one is going to be really cool, too. This is tomorrow. This is at 2 o'clock at Town Hall in Seattle. You want to bring your little ones there for a children's concert with narration by composer Jim Stevenson. So you're going to follow a little girl, Sally, through into fields and through a forest to meet her instrument friends. And you get to learn about what each, each instrument in the orchestra can do. And together you get to write a song for Sally at the end of her journey. So there's going to be some virtual options available for your household if you can't get there in person. There's also in-person prices for kids and for adults. And if ticket prices are a barrier, uh, there are discounted rates available. And you can just email Philharmonia Northwest if you are interested. But it sounds like a really great way to spend a little uh, Sunday afternoon. That sounds great. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and letting us know about these fun, kid-friendly events that we can do this weekend, Erica. Absolutely. Have a great one. You too. And of course, we have a link on our website to these at fox13seattle.com.